As election day progresses, there's excitement on the streets of Harlem. It feels real good, really good. I feel great. I feel like um, I'm part of the world now. It's exciting. I hope the excitement lasts beyond today. Many here say casting a vote for the first African-American presidential candidate on a major ticket is one of the most significant events of their lives. This is history. It's history. A lot of people wouldn't think they would never see something like this. I think it looks wonderful. Rather he went or not, it's history to me. <laughs> Someone told me that Rosa Parks sat down so that Martin could stand up and march. And Martin stood up and marched so that Obama could run. And Obama is running so that my children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren can fly one day. The wait to vote here in Harlem can be an hour or more, but many say that gives them that much more time to savor their role as voters in this historic election. You know, we're talking, this is the only line people haven't been complaining about being on. The lines are abominably long, but I think if you take the initiative, you're patient, and just say, I'm going to get this done because it's very important, you'll get it done like I did. Poll workers say the lines in Harlem are partially a result of so many people voting in this election who never voted before. Ted Chaffrey, The Associated Press, reporting from Harlem in New York City.